What's up, fam? How you doing? Glad you tuned in to another episode of Mom, Dad, and the Girls DIY. Uh, again, we are Mom, Dad, and the Girls. We're a family vlogging channel that does a little bit of everything right now. Uh, we're starting a small business, so we're focusing on a lot of woodworking, a lot of farmhouse projects. That's the reason you clicked on this video today, is learn how to build a noodle board or a stove cover or whatever you want to call it. Uh, quick legal disclaimer, we never recommend leaving things on top of your stove that's flammable, that you're not meaning to cook with, or that you want to keep from catching on fire. Um, so anyway, we keep one on ours, we like it, it's cool, it's very decorative. You can do a ton of different things, a ton of different styles. We are knocking out a, uh, a new style today. Uh, it's using some scrap that we have from building some barn doors, just some one by six tongue and groove. We know most people don't have tongue and groove scrap. So go grab two uh, one by six by eight foot uh, tongue and groove pine. And then we also picked up a one by three by eight foot. Uh, again, this is all scrap that we have from different builds. So we're gonna knock this noodle board out. It's about, uh, let's see, 30 inches by 22 and a half or so. Uh, you're gonna need a table saw or a circular saw or some type of way to, to rip these down the middle to make life easier. Unless you wanna make it a little bit shorter, you can. It's up to you, but here's how we make ours. All we're doing here is just measure them down to the proper width. Uh, I'm gonna cut these down at 30. Then you're gonna the delta table saw has a fence that goes even past that. Sweet. All right, now you got everything cut. Go ahead and clamp it down, glue it, get your measurements. Um, this, like I said, it's 22 and almost a half. I'm gonna knock this uh, runner. It's gonna hold your handle. I'm gonna do this one at 20. That way it gives me a little bit of room on either side. Just cut it out of one by three. Real quick, easy, simple. Uh, again, knock it out at 20. We'll see you in a minute. Right here, we're just cross cutting the one by threes at 20. You can play around with the length, the width, whatever. You can use one by four, one by six. Mess around with it, play around how that looks in your design. All right, so now that you get uh, your cross sections cut down, what you could do is go ahead and just tack them all down. Uh, I normally use just some tight bond. This says tight bond one, I was using the bottom. Uh, it's filled with tight bond two. Uh, if you're going to use this for any type of cutting board, you would want to uh, first use it in hardwood. Uh, second, use at least type one, two, or three. Uh, it's FDA approved for uh, indirect food contact. And that would actually be a really cool idea to make this into a cutting board. So, note to sell. There we have it. The noodle board is built, glued, sanded, stained, ready for assembly. One quick thing I want to throw in here. It's not a tips and tricks video, but I'm going to throw one at you right now. These little pieces of PVC came with the table saw. Uh, but you can take these and you can actually buy them. They're called paint pucks, I believe. Or you can just take some PVC and uh, cut it down. These are like perfect. Three and a half, two and a half, three and a half inches. Just to get them off the table. Just enough so you can paint and not worry about it dripping and sticking to whatever. Uh, then flip it over and then do the other side. I love them. I'm going to actually go and buy some more pieces of PVC and cut down a few more of my own. Again, over tips and tricks. Let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. What I did is just, again, stain it any color you want. Paint it any color you want. Uh, the customer wanted this one stained, so we stained it a very beautiful espresso. No, lie. Uh, this one's ebony. This one's gonna be stained ebony. So, or it was stained ebony, I should say. And we're gonna go ahead and assemble the side rails, get ready to mount the handles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the stencil uh, as soon as I get the okay back from the customer on final design. We'll get that done and this will have a brand new home. If you want one of these in your home and don't feel like building it, check out circlemfurnishings.com. Again, right here, circlemfurnishings.com and we can get one taken care of for you and, and shipped out. And uh, yeah, this will be in your house within uh, a matter of a couple weeks. Thanks for watching guys. We're gonna go and jump into assembly. It's gonna be real simple, real easy. I wanna use some uh, Type Bond 2, some 18 gauge brad nails. If it gives me in trouble, it wants to warp. Usually the tongue and groove is pretty good with no, no warping. Flip it over, countersink a couple uh, inch and a quarter construction T25 screws in it. Besides that, I'm, it's pretty much done. It's over, it's it's a wrap. So let's get to assembly done. Go ahead and take your one by three styles or whatever width you decide to go with and get ready to mount those with some glue and your brad nails. Uh, we decided to go two inches in from the side and then an inch on either side because you know it's a 20 inch style and it's a 22 inch board. Uh, once you're done with that, pre-drill a couple holes for your decorative handles. Use a screwdriver so you don't strip those screws up. All right, there you go. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, longest thing you have to really wait for is drying time. I wait for the glue to dry, I wait for the stain to dry, and I gotta wait for the glue to dry. I don't think I'm gonna have any any real issues with this one. It seems pretty flat, uh, so I'll check it out, check it out, flip it over. But no, it looks like it's gonna be great. You can put adjustable uh, legs on this, silicone feet. 
different type of uh, furniture, feet, all different types of stuff you can, to elevate it, raise it up, whatever you want to do. Post in the comments if you made one of these um, or what else you'd like to see me do a DIY on. Thanks again for stopping by. We are Mom, Dad, and the Girls. We are a YouTube vlogging channel. Be sure to subscribe. If you made it this far, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Uh, and at the end of our videos, we always say, peace. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle logo right here. Also, check out the newest vlog we just uploaded. If you've already seen that one, we picked out a special one just for you. So go ahead and give that one a watch. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you watching. At the end of our videos, we always say peace.